Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Today, we're going down south of the border. We're going to get a little pie. Taco pie. Sounds good. Keep watching. We'll get to cooking. Alright y'all, here's the ingredients we're going to need. Uh, need a uh, 8 ounce package of uh, croissant rolls. Uh, we need a pound of ground beef. We need a package of taco seasoning to season the beef, of course, to make the tacos meat. Um, we need uh, sour cream, some cheese, and some tortilla chips. Um, they call for just tortilla chips. I'm going to use the nacho flavored uh, Dorito style chips. Give it a little bit more flavor. We're all about the flavor, so that's all we need. So we're going to start. We're going to grind round that ground beef up and get that made up and uh, we'll get that started and we'll bring y'all back all right y'all uh, I got ahead of myself to start out got to make our crescent rolls need a nine by nine pan and we're gonna unroll them now, I've never made this this particular recipe before so it says to line the bottom of it pan with the crescent rolls so we are going to do that need that little piece there to fill in that Kind of pinch them together. It's gonna to form our crust on our pie bottom, so alright. Got that all pressed out there. And as soon as the uh, oven warms up, we're gonna bake those according to the instructions. And uh, that'll make our our pie base. So I'm gonna wrap these up and uh, we'll make them later. So alright. All right, y'all. Now we got them our uh, pie base going. We can get the uh, meat going. So, all right. All right. Got that started there. I'm gonna throw the lid on it. I'm gonna brown that up, good and brown. What we'll our uh, taco seasoning? Alright y'all, while that meat's browning, we need to crush up our uh, tortilla chips, nacho chips. So. That's so satisfying. Okay. That gets a good consistency. Oh yeah, not too big of pieces, so, alright, got that done, I'm going to set that aside, we'll wait for that beef to get done, and, uh... Alright y'all, while that uh, crust is baking, that meat's uh, doing its magical medley thing, do me a favor, drop down in there, hit that thumbs up button, you know, views have been great, you guys have been awesome, uh, the thumbs up, either y'all aren't liking them, or, uh, just too lazy to take a second and go down and hit that thumbs up it does help the channel you know tells you tells the algorithm that uh, you know people are liking this thing let's promote this dude out and uh, let more people find out about it so take a second now go down there and hit that at the end of the video then you can go down and give me a comment tell me what you thought of the recipe if you liked it you know if you didn't like it if uh, I should you know quit cooking I don't care tell me so all right let's get back to the to the good stuff you guys don't want to look at me doing nicely it's almost all browned up there a few little pink spots break her up Yeah, 
we don't want this in too big of pieces, so. All right, I think we're gonna leave that lid off there and uh, just let her, let her continue to simmer down there. Get rid of some of that liquid that's in there. So, all right, I'll keep cooking this. We'll bring you back when we get ready to do the next step. All right, y'all, got that meat all browned up nice. There's just a little bit of liquid left in there, so we're going to add our taco seasoning. That's a little old, but ain't no big deal. She'll break up. She'll mix in nicely. Mmm, that smells delicious. Everything that I cook smells delicious. Turn the heat down to low. Not off, just low. So she don't burn. Alright, I'm actually going to take it all the way off the burner there. Because she is ready to rock. We're waiting for our crust to bake. And uh, we'll uh, keep an eye on that. As soon as our crust is baked, we'll come back and uh, we'll finish this up. Hey, did you smash that some like button yet? Go ahead and do it. I'll wait. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. Let's get back to cooking. All right, y'all. Here we go. We got that all uh, baked out there. Get us a spatula. See if we can't uh, I think we need a knife before we need a spatula. So, see if we can find a decent knife to cut this with. Cut that crust underneath of there. Yes, this pan is still hot, so Chunk of this out of here. Oh, oh, look at that. Mmm, that looks yumminess. Get all that goodness out of there. Oh, and it smells amazing. Of course, everything I make smells amazing. We'll shoot, we'll shoot a big smell of vision. So, all right. Now we got it. So, Grab some utensils, get the camera spun around, and uh, we'll do a little taste test. Bring you right back. All right, y'all. Time for the taste test. Let's see if we can uh, get a little bit of this out of here. Hopefully it's not too hot because we just got done cooking it. Keep it on the fork. Mm. That's pretty dang good. That filling is really good. That crust on the bottom, you put it back in there for that second bake, it kind of gets crispy. It's a really good Taco Tuesday. Thumbs up. See, I did the thumbs up thing. Huh. Just messing with y'all. Beverage of the day. Got the brown mood juice because it helps in my heartburn. Anytime I eat some Mexican food, I get heartburn. 
Mm, that's good. Good stuff there. All right, y'all. Hope you all like this one. Hope you uh, will try it. And uh, leave me a comment down there. Let me know what you think. Um, I think we can make this into like a Supreme. We could add some black olives. You know, some other stuff. I don't know about lettuce. Lettuce would probably get wilted. You know, now nah, we'll leave the lettuce out. But, uh, yeah. Uh, or even if you wanted to put it over a bed of lettuce after you uh, did all the bacon and everything. That would probably be awesome too. So, anyways. Always different ways of changing things up. Uh, as long as you don't change the basic recipe or basic ingredients, add to it how you want. Add your flavors that you like to make it your dish. So, anyways, appreciate y'all. Um, stop by and see me on the Sunday live stream, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Come in there, have a little chat, hang out, and just enjoy the company. Again, appreciate y'all, and as always, bear appetit.